सो वट इज कैशिंग इन कंप्यूटिंग कैश इज ए हार्डवेयर और अ सॉफ्टवेयर कॉम्पोनेंट दैट स्टोर डेटा फॉर फ्यूचर रिक्वेस्ट कैन बी सर्व फास्टर फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर डेटा राइट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस बाय अ पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से दिस इज क्लाइन राइट एंड दिस इज सर्वर एंड दिस सर्वर इज टॉकिंग टू सॉन्ग डीबी राइट सो फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल क्लाइंट इज फैचिंग सम डेटा पॉइंट from the server right so what will happen request go here and this server do some computation or run the business logic and fetch the data from the database right and database and response back here right if after some time if we fetch the same data again right same thing follow again after 2 minutes After five minutes, we will want to fetch the same data again. Then this request, this entire cycle will repeat it again, right? So we are fetching a same data point frequently, right? And we are hitting database again and again. Instead of that, let's say we have a cache layer. right so in this so client send the request server check the data first from cache if data found we call that cache hit right and data will response back to the client right now another case if if data is not found in cache that is called cache miss right and in this particular scenario the call will go back to the database right so data will fetch from the db and in that particular call first we insert data in database and at the fallback mechanism we store data in cache right so this is for insert right types of cache so there are two types one is server side and second is client side so if we talk about server side uh we can store any data point in form of key value pair in memory for an example we can use redis or a memcache right and both follow the key value pair right so we can store data against some key for an example if you want a uh, followers count against a user id so user id will be a key and followers count should be a value simple right if we talk about client side we have multiple things for example cdn cache uh, akamai browser cache apps also do cache as well right either it is ios or android so guys whatever the static data we have on any particular page any data block so we can serve that particular data from any of these technologies like there are a lot of static images and logo hai right we can serve that particular information from 
these i will cover these things in detail in separate video so let's talk about the advantages of cash so number 1 is performance so it is simple and straightforward since we are not hitting database again and again and we are fetching data from any cache or you can say directly memory so latency will be less and user experience will be so definitely performance will be high right the second is reduced network calls to db so since we are uh, not hitting db again for fetching the same data point so network call will be reduced right by this uh, we will save a uh, number of request plus we gain the performance as well the next advantage of cache is save bandwidth so now since we are sending less request to database so less request is over to the network that means less usage of internet and that will save the bandwidth right so guys that's all for this particular video happy learning thank you